This is a, an old railway bridge just in, in Trenta, outside Church Hill. That's the River Lennon. There was a bit of rain last night. And you can see the old railway bridge through the bushes. It's all completely overgrown. This place is lovely. Down another wee path. See that? Them round pillars there, you always see them on, ra on old railway tracks. Oh, here the hawk. Now, I'd like to avoid getting wet. <sighs> you always see them round pillars at the railway tracks. Well, that has to be it there, look. I'll come away in through there. following this old track here. It's been so long since I was here. Still following this track.
part of the reason that I love these kind of places, these old railway lines so much is because they're always such a haven for wildlife. It's just completely left to go wild and it's, if you look around it's all hazel and oak, silver birch, black sally, ash, just all native trees and it's, it's just an absolute haven for wildlife. For, Badgers and foxes, red squirrels, pine martens, water voles, birds and insects. It's just like a wee corridor of nature, a wee wilderness. Uh oh. Looks like I'm gonna get wet feet. Ah, shit. Should have brought the wellies. Never leave home without them. Here's a wee trick. If you want to know the difference between hazel and alder, uh, that's the hazel there, that's the alder. They both look really similar. And some people uh, have trouble telling them apart. But you can always tell the hazel. Hazel always has a wee point there. Though. And the alder doesn't. The alder's more kind of a shiny leaf as well. But uh, that wee point there is always the giveaway. So that's that's the hazel, and that's the alder. So now, down another wee lane. No idea where I am. No idea where I'm going. Just keep following these paths blindly. Maps? What the fuck would you want a map for? <laughs> I'm hoping there might be a nice wee surprise at the end of this lane. What kind of a surprise? I don't know. A nice one. I like nice surprises. Look at that. Lovely. What a sight for a house hey, down in here. Oh my god. Nobody would know you exist. Jesus, wouldn't it be great? See, the thing is, I know this path's not going to go anywhere, but see when I get on a wee path like this, I just have to follow it. I just can't turn back. I have to go all the way to see, to see where it ends. Because, well, why would there be a path? Why would someone make a path? There has to be, there has to be something at the end of it. really I'm just looking for the I'm hoping for the ruins of an old house that I can explore but uh, I don't think that's gonna be very likely this is taking me way off my scheduled route I have no time for these kind of detours but let's look at the goats Hey, hey, it's mad hoor. I would say that was wild there. Guaranteed. <sighs> anyway, I can still see the outline of a path, so I, I can't go back. It's like a drug. Okay, it's nothing. Just leads nowhere. Just under this field. Right, right, okay. 
curiosity satisfied, I can go back now. Well, hang on, I hate to see what's around this corner. Right, right, right. Ah, look, look. There's another wee path going up on through them trees. Oh, that's that now. There's a limit. What the fuck am I looking for again? Oh, I railway tracks. Oh, I right, 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 railway tracks. Right. <laughs> now, where am I this time? Where could I possibly be? God only knows. <laughs> no, I actually know where I am this time. Just for a wee change. There's them round pillars. See that these round pillars? You always know you're coming on the railway when you see them round pillars. On the line now, this is the, the race banking, but let's go this way. What do you see what do you see where we end up last time? Imagine how they had to dynamite all this out, bit by bit, and then pick it all out down with a rock, a pick and a shovel and a sledgehammer. Imagine the racket. That would have all been one continuous solid piece of rock. lead us to a very familiar landmark in Donegal. As soon as you see it, you'll know where you are. Uh, ah, Jesus Christ. Getting a bit tight now, getting a bit tight. Vietnam. Uh. So much for the fucking path. Half slightly overgrown. Uh, where is this fucking thing? Jesus Christ! Why is everything so far away? Ah, oh God. That's a bit better there now. Am I getting the face clawed off me with the branches? Uh, spoke too soon. Uh, 
sake. Go find out the railway lanes. Oh, Jesus, I have a great idea. Oh, I you remember them all from years ago, do you? Well, things fucking grow. Must have been a nice wee path 20 years ago, but it's getting a bit wild. <laughs> ah, Christ. Lord save me. Why do I do these things? Ah! What else would you be doing? Only digging a hole in the fucking garden or something? No, no. Not one bushes. Anything but fucking ones. Jesus Christ. Save me. Save me, Jesus. Christ. Thanks, Shara Rain, now it'll be class. Jeez, I'll be happy then. Oh God. God, save me. Oh, periscope. Ah. Thing. Lord Jesus Christ! That has to be it now. That has to be. If it's not, I'm going to go fucking mad. I see it. Thanks for the Christ. Ah, I want to get up there. It's all overgrown. There's a wall. Sign of human civilization. God, the last time I was up here, it was just all you could walk out. It was pure clear, nothing on it at all. Mind you, that was 20 years ago. Anyway, here we are at the end of the line. And I mean the end of the line. the gap in Chrysler. some construction there.
did that bridge blow down or was it knocked or? What happened? It's like a cathedral or something, a castle. It's fucking almost a medieval feel. Apart from the noise of the traffic, obviously. Anyway, I'm walking back up the road, so I'm not going through that again. Now there's a familiar sight. Fish, as I'm sure you all know. Well, if you know your railways, there's no price for guessing where I'm going next. I came all this way to fill in the viaduct at the gap, so the next obvious place to go is the own car viaduct. That old uh, beautiful big bridge, but I saw a bit of where the where the train blew off the tracks way back years ago. It's a terrible tragedy. Lots of people were killed. It's been years since I was out here. Years. Right, the train tracks are actually up there. We need to get up there. More fun. them all round pillars again. Must have been a wee cross in there because I'm standing in the middle of the line where the tracks would have been up on this raised this raised green bit in the middle is where the tracks would have been. I think I might find it a different way. 
See the way it's all rough at the bottom, and you get up there, and then it's a lot finer workmanship. Wonder why that wee hole was bored there. I found an old piece of iron, must have been off the tracks. That must have been off the tracks there. Oh, it's probably lying there since the night of the crash. Well, it will lie there for a while yet. holes in it for the slap the puns into now we house on there look the ruins of a wee house but that must have been connected to the railway because right next to it must have been a wee railway cottage That's some big iron plates. The tracks must have fitted onto them. That's the own Carroll River. That runs into Glen Loch there. Down on the far side of the log cabin bar. Crosses the main road there. Anyway, so that's the own car of Iaduct. Christ, they knew how to build back then, I'll tell you. But the wind had its way. The wind won in the end.
that is a beautiful sight. Hey. That's some workmanship there. There's the old railway line up there. That straight line. This is the old mining road up to the, the old mine, the, the disused mine that was up in Mokish. The, the old quarry road. The, this leads up to the, the miner's path. Well, there's a path that the miners took all the way up to the top of Mokish. It's very interesting. There was uh, like oh, the old machinery still on the side of the mountain and stuff. And there's stone steps cut into the side of the mountain that the miners used to take. But that's, that's up that, on up this road here. It comes to a dead end. But uh, that's an overstory. Here for the railway. You can see the railway. See where it went there off in the distance. And through there. And across the road here, it kept going. Thank God get out of that one day. Who the hell do I always pick a one day's days to do these things? I have to admit I never knew this existed. <laughs> I was planning on going just taking a walk along the track on the other side of the road, because I knew that was there because I could see it, but I didn't know about this little place in here. There you are now. Learn something new every day. This is cool, I like this. You can see a lot of horse horse hoof marks. Must be people coming through here in horses. But I wonder is this is this a trail all the way to Burton Port? Because that'd be some walk, hey. Because we're in just outside Creasla here now. Looks like a place there a man could be ambushed. <laughs>
way. There's another wee track going up there. Another track going up there. And that's the, the main walk. I want to see what's over this ridge. Probably just paps into some man's bog, just for getting turf or something like that. Still, it's a path. I'm compelled beyond reason to follow it. Ah, it's not, it's not, it's not out there. Christ, look at that lake. That's a lovely day now, hey. Geez, I might go all the way to Burtonport. <laughs> oh, fuck. I've been at this crack since 9 o'clock this morning. It's about 4 now, hey. I'm starting to get a bit fed up. I'm gonna go home, I want to eat food. I want to take these wet boots off. Pour copious amounts of alcohol down my throat. In the whole years. Right folks, no harm to it, but I'm not walking to Burtonport, as much as I'd love to, now don't get me wrong, but it's just been too much, enough is enough for one day, maybe that's a walk I could do some other time, do the whole, whole track, maybe bring a tent, carry out, uh, drugs, make a night of it, and that's as far as I'm going today. I'll have to do some uh, research onto this walk now and see how, see where it starts and see where it ends. Uh, it definitely looks interesting. It looks very inviting. If you like wild places, and it's such an easy to walk on path. Like there's no struggling at all. That's that's what I call easy walking there. Like. In 1841, me corduroy breeches I put on. Make collar eye breeches I put on to work upon the railway, the railway. I'm sick of my guts of the railway. Poor Paddy works on the railway. I want to see something ridiculous, but four or five hours ago I was getting out of the car and I felt a distinct uh, floppy feeling to one of my feet and I looked down and the sole was peeling off my new boot. That was good, wasn't it? So basically for the last four or five hours I've been spazzing around in the bog, slipping and sliding on rocks, fucking trees and through muck and Thorns were basically a f fucking sock. <laughs> That's what I've been walking around on for the last four or five hours. My foot is a mess. I'm definitely away. Good luck.
never go back to learn. <laughs>